Shahida says, as far as I understand, we should not take our kids to places such as amusement parks, talking about uh, um, uh, amusement parks in, in the West. There are sins such as mixed gathering, music, etc. But I have been told Islam is not that extreme. I have explained that it's not my ruling and we need to obey Allah, uh, Allah's commands. So uh, can, can you please provide some references from the Quran and the Sunnah so that I can explain it to them? First of all, when people say Islam is not that extreme, what is the measuring stick that I can say, mm, Islam is not extreme, mm, this is not permissible, oh, this is halal. What is the measuring stick that I can use in order to come with such a conclusion? Because if I go to a strip club, God forbid, and I say, Akhi, this is haram, the, the people would say, come on, Islam is not that strict. Islam prohibits fornication, but this is not, this is just watching. If I sit on a table where people are drinking be, uh, uh, haram, beer, whiskey, etc., and I said, I can't join you. I said, come on, Islam is not strict, that strict. As long as you're not drinking, it's okay. So what is the measuring uh, stick? How can I know whether this is halal or haram, whether this is extreme or not? It's definitely by going back to the Qur'an and the Sunnah. What is there in amusement parks? Free mixing. Well, I may differ with that because there is similar free mixing in malls, in supermarkets, everywhere. This is not free mixing. When you see other women in the street, this is not free mixing. So being in a park and there are women and men all around you is okay. I'm not doing anything haram. I'm not chit-chatting or socializing. I'm on my own. In amusement parks, you have a lot of music. You have a lot of haram practices. You have gambling. When you shoot something, if you miss, you lose what you have paid. If you uh, uh, strike, you get a, a, a prize that is 10 or 15 times more than what you had paid. This is gambling. Though it's a game, it's fun. You get a doll, you get a teddy bear, but it is gambling. And this is haram. The music is everywhere. And when children go on rides like a horse, like Bambi, an, an elephant or a, a tiger, and it goes round and they play and etc., these are idols. These are not toys. These are idols and they're there to stay and they're being respected, and you're paying money to take a ride in it. So this is not permissible, among other things. So for a Muslim, it is, unfortunately, and I'm telling you this, and the vast majority of Muslims are not paying attention to it. And as, again, the pressure is high for us to change our religion, to change our convictions, and everybody's against you. The children, the grandchildren, the relatives. This is too extreme. Come on, let's go and have fun. The children want to have fun. But what about the music? Come on, nobody's listening to it. What about some nudity? It's summer. Everybody's wearing shorts and revealing clothes. No, nobody's looking. Don't look. Don't. Why would I put myself in harm's way and in the middle of hell so that people would be happy and have a good time? No, this is totally wrong and haram, and we should remain steadfast, abiding by our religion tightly, so that we would not have any problem, inshallah. 